Welcome back everybody. Henry is uh, off, well not off, he's just going right there. But he's, uh, he's going to wash the boom today. So hopefully we'll shut the gate on everything for, uh, for spraying. And uh, yeah, we've finished that round of spraying anyway. So it's time to wash the boom. Um, so he's going to do that. And I've got uh, a lot of other stuff to uh, get to. So I've just moved Fleetwood out, put that down there until we've got the steel to arrive. Today I, I will get to and clean this mess up here. Um, I did actually realise that we could actually mount this motor up if we wanted, because we've got enough 40 by 40 just here. Uh, we're using 40 by 40 by 3, and we've got enough there that we could actually mount this uh, motor up. So come the end of the week we might do that. Uh, it's obviously Monday for us here. Uh, Henry is, uh, well once he's finished washing that boom, so tomorrow, we will uh, do our 3,000 hour service on that machine. So uh, we've got to, uh, yeah, that's why I want to get the workshop nice and clean because we'll have the boom right up here and we'll be doing oils and goodness knows what else. So uh, first off, I've got all, we've, uh, we're, we're getting really settled in at the house now. So um, yeah, I've been putting up things like shelves and stuff like that in the garage and Moving all the uh, the stuff out, so um, it's a hell of a lot of carpet to have left over. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I've got to move this uh, somewhere so it doesn't get disgusting. Whole bunch of rubbish. I've got to um, go to Rush and pick up a few things. I need to grab the fuel trailer, take that down, and um, fill up uh, Darren's tractor because he's uh, yeah he's out of fuel. Well, he's nearly out of fuel on that. Uh, and then hopefully today we've got Zach out. Uh, Zach is our CSBP manager and uh, we're going to do some tissue sampling. We're going to uh, go check, uh, well we'll do this paddock, <coughs> I'll show you. So we are shut the gate hopefully unless we have to do a late fungicide on the, uh, on the crops. Uh, so what we're doing is we're doing tissue samples uh, because we've just finished applying everything. Uh, we've done the FlexCN. We've had now uh, 17 mils of rain on it, so everything should be nice and soaked in. So we're doing tissue samples just to check where we're at with our levels, um, and we can gauge, okay, we, we, we're down on copper, we're down on zinc, we're down on manganese. You know, maybe we should add a bit more, and it'll give us a bit of an idea of what to do next year uh, with our, um, liquid cut so uh, yeah just to get a bit of an idea so uh, we're going to do uh, Hatton's well actually we'll do Hatton's front because uh, that was looking a bit hungry uh, we're going to do uh, mum's front that's got uh, the beautiful canola out the front there so that's a really good canola uh, and then we're going to do Atherton's long uh, that there has got uh, so different variety so renegade to bonito new seed to like three-year-old seed this is struggling and it um it's just looked pale so we're uh, we're going to test that make sure that that's okay uh you know maybe we need to feed this paddock uh some more stuff next year uh my guess is going to be it might be uh, low in manganese um then we're just going to test uh some barley as we go around just some random spots and uh just make sure and we'll do probably these paddocks here of wheat just make sure that uh, everything is uh, everything's all good. You just uh, you don't want to. Well, if the results come back and we are really low on something, so like let's for example, we're really low on zinc. We already do throw a fair bit of zinc at it, so uh, we've got to decide whether it's um, cost benefit of uh, putting more zinc at it to get the yield result, or yeah. So it's it's for our knowledge, and then. Um, we can then make the, the decision come next year on, uh, on what we do. So hopefully that happens today and uh, I will hopefully uh, film that. So uh, yeah, we've got that to look forward to. Down at my, uh, my house dam. So this is one that we got uh, Lindsay Burnett to make another one out the back. Uh, <laughs> So I've filled this one up. Yeah, we only had 100 and uh, now it's 158 mils for the year. Uh, so 
we got a silt trap on that side which you know, evaporates and then every time we get a rain it just sort of fills the silt trap back up never sort of get any runoff into here so uh, I really really hope there's a cyclone in uh, February and we get a absolute you know 100 200 mils just downpour so we can fill some stuff up because uh, this is going to do our horses and our garden because uh, that's the house just up there and uh, so obviously need to put a solar pump down here run a pipe up there it's a whole thing we're going to do but that is uh, not going to support uh, that do probably a week because I don't know how deep that is that's probably just full of silt anyway I'm down here because of this thing so uh, this is the the Goanna so this is uh, one of two weather stations this one stopped working it's not the first time it's happened uh, so the first time it happened I sort of came down and it was working and well the battery was still live and I sort of whacked it a bit and got it working again uh, it then hasn't been working since uh, like the beginning of June it's now the end of July uh, so they finally got back to us and they said look take the battery back charge it up and then chuck it in and see what happens if that doesn't work then they'll send out another unit so obviously this is the battery um, it's got a solar panel on there it's meant to just charge the battery as it goes so there's obviously something up with our solar charger in here because otherwise the battery wouldn't go flat um, so we're gonna hook this up we're gonna uh, see if we get life into it and we'll see if it starts uploading we'll see how long it lasts uh, so that's up at 13 um, volts now if uh, I give it probably about a, a week of uploading before um, it draws too low that it can't do anything if the solar char if the solar is not charging it and uh, yeah it'll stop uploading and we'll let them know and we'll get a new one so we'll install this and we'll see what happens on our solar controller here Okay, so I've hooked it on and uh, if you can see up here it's saying we've got 13.1 volts it's now saying that the sun is now charging and then we've got load so this is obviously this is our load going to uh, yeah it's thing I don't know what this do switch does don't know alright so we'll see if this works um, it says the solar's charging it, so we'll see how it goes. It's obviously got a SIM card down uh, just here, and uh, we'll, uh, I don't know how long it'll take for it to do its first upload. Um, I might just sit here for five minutes and just see. It could take, you know, 10 to 20 to 15 minutes. Just depends on when the satellites are going over, when it um, uploads or whatever it does. I don't know its, uh, it's up, upload times. Uh, intervals, upload intervals. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes uh, and we haven't had it upload yet but that's alright I'm not worried about that I did just have it have the uh, the no solar so it's there now but that wasn't there just before um, so what I've done is I've just cleaned the panel up a bit because there's a bit of bird crap on there and then uh, we've had a few issues with these they're not reading the uh, the rain um, very precisely uh, Sometimes it's just way out, like very high, and sometimes it just isn't reading much at all. When I came down the other day, uh, this uh, is obviously where the rain gets measured in, and the veins down the bottom there were blocked up with uh, bird poo. So uh, I'll show you what, if you're not aware of what happens. So this is our rain gauge, that sits on top. Raw water is collected in that. It goes it down into this little cup, and then when it gets enough weight, it goes bloop, drops it out, comes back up. And that measures, I don't know, maybe 0.5 of a mil. I'm not too sure. Uh, but, so what I've done is I've, well, they had these little metal spikes that you can see there. They had them on there to stop the birds from standing on there. But as you can clearly see, as you can clearly see, that hasn't done a thing. The birds are obviously just sitting on there and just using it as a toilet. So uh, I've come up with the ingenious idea of just putting some zip ties up like that because I don't like to go or sit on anything that moves. 
So my hope is that uh, that will hopefully deter them. Now I'll go and check the other one that's actually working with Zach. Um, he's got a new aerial because that aerial broke. And the only thing we can think is a bird is either sat on it, a, a heavy bird, <laughs> or a bird has actually crashed into it. So we'll see what's happened there. Uh, but I'm gonna check that rain gauge down there as well to see if there's any bird crap in the, uh, in the bottom of the spout. And then hopefully we can get back to having a, uh, a pretty good rating of rain. Cause when we first got them, they were, they were pretty good, but yeah, now they're a bit shocking. I have just like an average any. So not the best looking ones, but not the worst looking ones. Oh, okay. Grab the best. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're, uh, we're out here now with uh, Zach and we're doing our, well, collecting our samples. Uh, so, what they're doing is they're grabbing, well, we do about 20 per bag. So they just go for a random walk out through this section here. And if you just heard, you're grabbing basically the average plant, not the best, not the worst. And you're just trying to be a bit selective as you go through. Uh, they've both got gloves on, so plastic gloves. So that uh, stops any uh, traces of anything that could be on our hands, any oils, anything like that. They will mess with the, uh, mess with the results. And then uh, when Zach, and Henry get back up, they're getting 10 each. So when they get back up here, we'll um, cut the roots off and then we'll chuck it in here and we'll ask Zachary some questions about it all. Um, but yeah, this is the wheat at the moment. So it's uh, it's all looking pretty healthy. Uh, as you can see, we are, uh, we're starting to get the head emergence. Um, so this is our flag leaf. So we want to make sure that this one here is, uh, is as good as it can possibly be. So we're out here now, we're going to be checking to make sure there's no uh, fungicide that needs to be applied out here um, make sure there's no bugs eating anything uh, but uh, considering we've had that uh, 17 18 mils of rain over the last week the uh, the crop has just um, yeah it's come back it was looking a bit bit thirsty a bit hungry uh, so it's perfect timing for us to do sampling because the plant has uh, had some uh, water and it's, it's now good and um, it's now been able to take up that nitrogen and things like that So, what are they going to test for? Pretty much all of the nutrients. We'll do a comprehensive to give you a yep. full spectrum of how the plant's positioned. Yeah, yeah, yep. Because we obviously want to know uh, like manganese, zinc, uh, definitely nitrogen, things like that. But you do, I'm assuming like copper and yeah, the full, all that. Yeah, the full trace of um, macro and micronutrients. Yeah. Yep. So then that'll, uh, it, so I was saying it takes about a week around about for them to get the results back to us yep. so it's not a um, a reactive thing to do you don't go out and then go oh we need a we wanted to know what to spray on it it's more we've gone and sprayed everything let's now see what uh, yeah what what what's worked and what's not and then we can uh, make a plan for next year on how we're gonna apply those things that might be lacking and if we've got too much out there then we can bring stuff like that back so this is our uh, goanna that's actually working and uh, we're not too sure what happened. A suicidal bird maybe, or just a fat one sitting up there. And that one's got just the exact same as the other one. There's no lights on there or anything. So we'll see, we, it still hasn't uploaded on that other one, but uh, yeah, it's only been an hour and a half. So we'll see what happens, but we might need to replace the unit. Uh, we're out in the canola now. Uh, so this one is our latest sown canola uh, and the reason we're testing this one here is because it's behind um, and I think it's behind because uh, it's like old seed but uh, we'll see so it's not ideal to be um, doing plants that, have, uh, that are flowering but we do still have a lot of these if I can pull one out a lot of these little guys which are perfect for, for testing so the guys are just walking around and uh, picking them out a lot and we'll uh, yeah we'll send these ones off for um, for testing and you can see our tap root hasn't done very well it's uh, what it does it goes to the side gets uh, gets going and then it's uh, hit the hard well hard pan or boron and it just goes just goes sideways so uh, we'll go to the yeah, Zach said wow well, We'll go to the, the mum's front as well, the canola up there, and we'll give that a see if we can test that. When you do those ones, you're sort of pulling off uh, 
like these leaves here instead so we'll um yeah we'll uh we'll see about that one because it would be nice to compare the two two different varieties and you're looking at like a week week and a half different in sowing time but uh yeah it'd be good to see why that one is uh performing so well So we're trying to get uh, as many samples as we can. We're doing two per paddock. Uh, we've just finished doing the canola. We've done one in the another paddock of wheat. We're now in our uh, in our barley, which is uh, which is looking very nice. The wheat's looking well; it hasn't tilled as well as what we'd like, uh, but the the barley is looking absolutely sensational, as you can probably see. Uh, and uh, if you look, we're uh, we're already at head emergence. Well, some of it's at on peep. The rest is at. Uh, head emergence and um, from doing a quick count we're anywhere from 12 aside to 15 aside so uh, that's um, a very good result uh, and when I'm saying aside I'm meaning grains aside so it's uh, it's looking good um, as long as our rain keeps coming the barley is going to be our, uh, our breadwinner again I think uh, now what we can't do now is go and, pray, go and spray fungicide uh, we've got to watch out for um, spot type, uh, it got quite bad last year, but um, yeah, now that you got the heads out, it's um, gets very iffy if you do it or not. So it's not like wheat. If wheat, when the heads out, you go and get a head wash and it's perfectly fine. Barley isn't. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do uh, here, and then we'll probably do two paddocks over in Rasheen, uh, and then. We'll go and do one of the wheat paddocks at uh, Hattons and then that'll be it. But um, we'll have a good representation over the blocks and uh, over each crop. So uh, yeah, no, it'll be, uh, hopefully we get a good result back. We'll, um, I'll obviously update you guys when uh, when we do get all the results in. Right, well that's, uh, that's all done. So we've uh, taken quite a few samples. So like I said, two from each paddock. Uh, so Zach will hopefully send them off uh, tonight. Um, so we're obviously Esperance, so Perth is where the lab is, um, you know, you got to get overnight freight or something like that to get it up there, but, uh, yeah, anyway, they, they'll send that off, whoop, nearly lost the camera, they'll send that off and, uh, then I think about two weeks is probably when uh, I'll be able to update you guys on, uh, on the results and what it all means, and, uh, yeah, it'd be good, good just to get an idea, you know, we've thrown... Uh, quite a lot of flexi edits, so, well, urea, so nitrogen, uh, we're up to 80 units of N. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we've put in uh, flexi, uh, sorry, zinc, uh, copper and manganese. Now, was that enough? Um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, and yeah, it'd just be good to get an idea. If, uh, if something's way out of whack, then we can recorrect it. If something's just a little bit out, then yeah, we can make the decision of if it's worth doing or not. And it'll actually be really good leading up until uh, seeding next year with uh, doing the liquid cart. So we'll, uh, I'll let you guys know when I know. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm heading back to the shed now. Um, I've just had a quick bite to eat. Uh, and gonna go and help Henry now with uh, washing the boom. He's finished with the boom side and now he needs me to lift him up with a forklift so he can get to, uh, get to the, you know, the tank and the tractor side of it. So uh, yeah, look, I reckon I'll leave the uh, leave the video there. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, as always, catch you in the next one.